Hey guys, this is Francesca from Under the Covers. Welcome back to our channel. And today I wanted to share with you guys my uh, Midori Traveler's Notebook that I am currently using as um, my reading journal. And I just got this new cover. Um, I don't think you guys can see the color as nice as it actually is, but it's got purple and pink and this cute little elephant stencil and i purchased this from um, imperfectly perfect but i do believe that she's now retired this particular design um, so i was lucky to purchase one of her last ones that she was offering and um, i moved over a couple of charms that i had on my old midori reading journal i got a reading glasses and I got a cute tassel and I will try to leave links down below for the shops on Etsy where I got those. So I thought that I would share with you guys what I have in here now that I have to actually switch over one of my inserts like the actual reading journal insert needs to be switched over so I thought it was a good time to to do that. And basically this is what I have in here. I do use uh, May Design Notebooks in my Midori that's pretty much all I use and um, I will try to leave links for the shops where I got the paper clips from as well so basically the first notebook I have in here is the actual reading journal and what I've been doing with this is um, I am printing the covers of the books that I am planning on reading for the month for the most part I do have a list of what I'm gonna read that month so I do print the covers ahead of time and I've printed a bunch of these book rating stickers that I made myself um, that I also have on my Etsy shop and so I have those in here as well and I do keep some washi tape so pretty much as far as decorating that's all I use so I'm just gonna give you like a quick flip through this is pretty much all I've been doing is I stick on the cover, um, I do have some Planner Kate stickers for recommended read and I just put the word recommended with the label maker on the Planner Kate stickers. I just like that they're repositionable. And so that's basically what I've been doing. I have in this notebook uh, my books for March, April, and May. And as you can see, I'm pretty much finishing up the notebook now. So I'm going to switch this out and put a new one in. Um, the next thing I have on here is a dashboard I made myself. Scrapbook paper and a couple other things and I laminated it. And basically inside of this I have the washi tape that I keep handy. This is also some scrapbook paper that I laminated and I just wrapped some washi, different washi tapes on here and I do keep two different washi tapes on hand. I also use this laminated piece of scrapbook paper. The edge of it is what I use to cut the washi so I'll just lay out the washi right on the notebook and I'll use the other one to cut it. So that's kind of why I keep two. I am currently using a credit card insert, I guess that's what you would call this, and instead of using it for credit cards, I keep my book covers in here, um, and I did print these on sticker paper so they're like ready to go on my notebook whenever I'm ready to write my thoughts on a particular book when I finish it, so those are here for the ones that I know I'm going to be reading soon. And on the zipper pouch, so now this zipper pouch is the back of this particular insert here that just has um, this two plastic pockets here. Uh, I keep in here the book rating stickers because I printed these myself. Um, I had to cut them all ahead of time, so they're all in here loose. And I do have some of the recommended um, Planner Kate stickers. And like I said, I just used my label, label maker for these. And a couple other things that I keep on here are a little bit more blog related. I do have a book for lists and recommendation. I created um, a quick index for different lists of books, like for example, Friends to Lovers, Second Chances, that kind of stuff. So what I like to do when I'm reading a book that qualifies into one of my lists 
is I find the page number because I actually did number the pages at the bottom and I'll go and write that in right away. I also did a couple of pages on here for my monthly recommendations and for my yearly recommendations. So that makes it very easy as I'm reading something throughout the month, I can already jot it down that it's something that I would recommend at the end of the month or that would go on my best of the year list. Now on those lists, it's really nothing fancy or anything like that. It's just a place where I can write down the lists and I already have the information um, handy at the end of the month or whenever I need it or the same goes with like different categories of lists. On the back of this uh, scrapbook paper that I also laminated myself, I attached a couple of sticky notes that I use for when I'm reading an actual print book to mark quotes or you know, I like these particular ones. I picked up a set of these from Ikea and I kind of like that they're, they reflect a little bit of what you would highlight a quote for. So I like to use those when I'm reading a paperback, so I like to keep those handy. And the last thing I have in here is a notebook for all the blog brain dump, basically. And I'm not gonna go into too much detail on here, but basically I like to keep things like blog stats that I like to keep track of. I also keep track of the books that I need to review for a particular month. I keep track of whether I've read the book, I've drafted the review, whether I've written the review, and whether it's posted or sent back to the publisher. For example, to look at a clear page of what that looks like, these are my lists to track the reviews that I need to uh, do. So this is a couple of blank pages that I have. So basically I'll write in the date that it's due and I'll write in the month on top. I'll write the book and author and then I have little check boxes, if you, if you will, for read, drafted, reviewed, posted, and submitted to the publisher. The rest of things that are in here are pretty much just lists that I need for blog work, randomly thrown in here, and for reference. Um, throughout this, I've used a couple of magnetic paper clips, and mostly those are from Target. These are scented ones, and I have a cute little elephant one as well. And that's it. That's pretty much all that's in here. The pens that I'm using on here are the Paper Made Flare pens, usually the medium tipped, but sometimes the ultra fine. And I don't really see any bleed through with the main notebooks. So it's been working really well for me using those pens. I like that they're very vibrant colors and that they write really nicely. So I do try to keep the whole set of all the colors of those pens with me. I do like to keep this handy as I'm reading because I find that if I can write down my thoughts on a book or even write down a quote that I really like, it's fresh in my mind if I do it right away, so I like to keep this with me. Overall, I've been really happy with the system. As you can see, I'm pretty much done with my first insert in this particular style of reading journal, so I think I will continue doing this and hopefully that gave you uh, a little bit of an idea and uh, if you have any questions just let me know. I'll try to leave links to all the supplies that I use to put this together in the information box below. Don't forget to check out our blog as well for more book reviews and author interviews and of course for a lot of giveaways that we're usually running. I'll see you again next week.